Hello everyone and welcome back to Potty Plants Entertainment. First of all, do you like my new t-shirt? Yeah, it's awesome. Anyways, so I'm doing a new new views movie review. So let's just go ahead and jump right into it. So Yeah. Anyways, so first one I got here, which I've been meaning to talk about for a few of these videos, but I keep forgetting to, is Osmosis Jones. I watched this with my girlfriend. She made me watch it with her. I really didn't want to watch it, but then I ended up enjoying it a lot more than I thought I would. It was a really funny animation. Uh, Bill Murray was funny in it. Uh, it was a really, really entertaining movie. Um, it even had action in it that was handled really well. Um, I, I enjoyed it a lot more than I thought I would. I'm going to give it a 90. The next one, my girlfriend also made me watch this one with her. It's called Things Heard and Seen. It's a Netflix horror movie that we discovered. And I hated it. I thought it was awful. And I don't want to talk about it anymore. 30. The next one we got here is Vertigo. This is an Alfred Hitchcock movie. Now, I haven't seen a lot from Hitchcock. I've seen Psycho. I've seen this. I really want to see North by Northwest. I'll get around to watching that at some point. Uh, but I watched Vertigo and I really liked it. Um, it, the special effects were really cool and they were really captivating. The opening scene of this movie is phenomenal. I was interested and captivated throughout this whole movie. It's just that it, it wasn't amazing to me. I'm going to give it an 85. Next one we got here is Dead Poet Society. Now this is a movie that I've been really, I was really looking forward to watching and I loved it, but I was also a bit let down by it. Uh, Robin Williams was, rest in peace, he was great in this movie. All the students in this movie were great. And a lot of them are actually notable names now, uh, but they were new back then, like Ethan Hawke. Um, I'm going to give this a 90. I was really hoping to be 95 or 100. My only problem that I had with this movie is that the movie isn't really about Robin Williams, but it, it advertises it like he's the main character. Well, he's not. He's actually a side character. The students are the main characters, which was kind of disappointing. I was hoping for this movie would be more about Robin Williams, uh, but I, I still thought it was really great. All the camaraderie between the students and everything was great. I just, it was a great movie. Next one I got here is Moneyball. This was a movie that I had been wanting to watch for a really long time. And then finally, a little while ago, like maybe a several weeks ago or so i finally got around to watching moneyball and i thought this was great i really really like this um i'm i'm a big sports fan uh football is the only sport i can watch on tv but you put me in front of any sport other than soccer maybe and you put me there in person i'm into it I, I i love sports um and so this is a baseball movie and i was really really into this movie the whole time i was watching it brad pitt and jonah hill were great uh, this oh Philip Seymour Hoffman was in this movie rest in peace I always get sad when I see him in a movie he was just so talented and I, I hate that he was stolen from us so soon I hate that so much um but I loved loved Moneyball uh let's see who else was in this no those are only notable names yeah I think so but I, I'm gonna give this a 95 the next one I got here is The Hateful Eight. Uh, okay, I really like Tarantino. Um, but every time I watch one of his movies, I'm always slightly let down by it. And I don't really know why. But this movie was great. Uh, I like all of his movies, except for Inglorious Bastards. I hate that movie. I, I don't care what you say. I think that movie is terrible. But uh, I really like this. Samuel L. Jackson should have gotten an Oscar nomination for this. Kurt Russell. I love Kurt Russell. And I'm so glad that Quentin Tarantino actually gives him movie roles. Because he's a guy we don't really see a whole lot of today. But Tarantino sees the talent that he still has. And so he keeps putting him in his movies. I'm really grateful for that. I love Kurt Russell. Always have. Walter Goggins great supporting actor i loved him in this too um my main issue with this movie or one of my main issues was the music specifically i think it was the theme song i think the guy who made the music for this also made the movie music for this which is the best movie soundtrack of all time um but th the theme song in this movie is like wah 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 every time that came on i got really annoyed uh, but I thought this was great, 85. 
The next one I got here is Army of Darkness. Now, I watched... I haven't seen... Uh, what is it? The Living Dead? or No, Evil Dead. And then Evil Dead 2. I haven't actually seen those. And I didn't realize that this was a sequel to those when I bought it. So I this is the third movie in that series. And I didn't realize that. So I watched this. I had a lot of fun with this. Uh, this was such a stupid movie. But it, you can tell that the people making this were really passionate about filmmaking and they wanted to make something that people would enjoy while not taking it too seriously. The practical effects in this movie are great and they, they really, for the most part, hold up. There's one scene where like he's fighting skeletons and you can tell they just took these skeleton figurines and like or statues, whatever, and threw them at him. Like, it was pretty dumb. And there's some other shots that don't quite hold up, but it was a really funny movie. I really enjoyed it kind of torn between whether giving this an 85 or a 90 but nevertheless i really liked it and then last but certainly not least i saved the best for last oh man what a movie i watched la la land look musicals are my least favorite genre of film hi doggy but this is one of the best movies i have ever seen in my life this was absolutely incredible and if you haven't watched this movie you haven't lived this is what filmmaking is all about one of the things i loved about this movie is that they didn't just sing whenever they had emotions no there's actually more talking in this than there's singing a lot more and so they were able to talk their emotions instead of just being like i'm feeling something right now so I'm going to sing about it? No. Like, there's actual conversations in this, which there should be. The This, from a technical standpoint, is one of the best movies I've ever seen. The lighting, the color grade, the editing, the camera work, the costuming, the sets, everything in this movie looks phenomenal. Uh, Emma Stone and Ryan Gosling have excellent chemistry with each other. This was a relatable movie. It was an encouraging and inspired me. I feel as a as a wannabe filmmaker inspired by this film. This is everything a movie should be, and I'm going to give it a 100. This is what filmmaking is all about: is movies like La La Land. All right, so that's it for that. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to Pirate Planet Entertainment for more. Hit the like button. Leave me reviews, suggestions, and comments down below. Follow me on Instagram at Pirate Planet Entertainment for channel updates. I almost always say. And written movie reviews. I gotta get the, out of the habit of that. Anyways, much love.